Hello and welcome to another episode of the Zonal Semi-Finals of the National Elections Quiz 2018, the world's largest inter-school quiz contest on elections. A thriving participative and vibrant democracy can be built only when its citizens are truly a part of it. And this is what makes elections and voting the backbone of any democracy. Through the NEQ, we are trying to reach out to future voters of our country, familiarizing them with the electoral process and preparing them to be the aware voters of tomorrow. An investment in these young students is an investment in India's democratic future. After the dramatic semi-finals of the Special Central Zone in the last episode, today we are here with the semi-finalists of the East Zone, where six teams will contest for a place in the grand finale. We already have four finalists and soon we'll have our fifth finalist with us. The national champions of the NEQ will win a prize of 1 lakh rupees. The first runners-up will win 80,000 rupees and the second runners-up will win 60,000 rupees. Additionally, the remaining three teams making it to the finals will be rewarded 50,000 rupees each. Since this is an inter-school quiz, half the amount shall go to the school and the rest will be shared between the two students comprising the team. So let's meet the participants for today's semi-final. First, we have the team from Assam. Hello, my name is Vishal Chaudhary and I am from Delhi Public School, Numaligar, representing Team Assam. Hi, I am Sarifaraz Nawaz Hussain. I am from TPS Numaligar, representing Assam. Next, we have the team from Bihar. Hi everyone, I am Mansev Singh from Kamta Sinomari Uchchi Vidyale Kesat. I represent Bihar. Thank you. I am Rahul Kumar Utkrami Uchchi Vidyale Divan Ka Barka Gaon. So, welcome to you both. Next team is from Jharkhand. Hi, I am Aditya Kumar and I am representing DPS Rachi, Team Jharkhand. Hello, I am Madhur Jain. I am from Delhi Public School, Rachi. I am representing Jharkhand. Then we have the team from Odisha. Hello, I am Afya Nas from Jilla School, Badrak, and I am represent representing Odisha. Hi, I am Prabhudatta Behra in Jilla School, Badrak from Odisha. I represent uh, representation in Odisha. Next, we have the team from Sikkim. Hello, everybody. My name is Shroma Limbu, and I am from Mangshila Senior Secondary School and representing Sikkim. Hello, everybody. Myself, Diksha Lohagun. I am here to represent the state of Sikkim, and I am from Mangshila Senior Secondary School. And then, Finally, Team West Bengal. Hello everyone, I am Deepa Jha. I am a student of Fadapur Shardamuni Vidyalai of Class 11. I am here to represent West Bengal. Hello everyone, I am Riya Sharkar, came from, um, came from West Bengal. We representation our state, West Bengal. I am reading Class 11. Okay, welcome to all the teams. So today, we are here at the semi-finals of the East Zone. Our six teams, have reached here after three rounds of inter-school, district and state level competition where they were quizzed upon the Indian electoral process. So now for this zonal competition, we are going to take the difficulty level slightly higher and test your knowledge on governance, the Indian polity, the constitution of India and broadly cover the journey of the Indian Republic and elections across the world. Let's now go through the rules for this exciting quiz contest. We will have 25 questions in all. Out of these, 20 will be addressed to a particular team in order. The last five questions will be on the buzzer, open to all teams. For the direct questions, the teams will have 15 seconds to answer after I finish reading the question. If a team answers a direct question correctly, they will score 10 points. There is no negative score for wrong answers. In the event of a wrong answer, however, other teams can use the buzzer and can give me the answer. A correct answer on the buzzer will fetch them 10 points, but a wrong answer can rob them of 5 points. So teams, use your buzzers with caution. After these two rounds, we will have a quick buzzer round of only 5 questions. These questions are open to all participants. The fastest to press the buzzer can answer the question. The right answer again will get you 10 points, while a wrong answer will get you minus 5. Please remember a team also can earn minus 5 points as a penalty if they press the buzzer before I complete the question and ask for the answer. 
If this is clear with all the teams? Yes, sir. Great. Let's start the National Election Quiz semi-finals for the East Zone. The first question is directed to the team from Assam. What change effected by a constitutional amendment in 1988 was declared by the then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi as an expression of our full faith in the youth of the country? What change effected by a constitutional amendment in 1988 was declared by the PM Rajiv Gandhi as an expression of full faith in the youth of the country? Uh, the constitutional amendment uh, was the 61st amendment and it lowered the voting age from 21 to 80. Fantastic answer. Let's give him a hand. 10 points to the team from Assam. They even identified the constitutional amendment correctly. 10 points to the team from Assam. This is the reduction of the voting age from 21 to 18. The next question goes to the team from Bihar. State Legislative Assembly elections were held in this state in 1952 and in 1956, and then again only after 1993. Which state are we talking about? They had state assembly elections in 52 and 56, and then again only after 1993. Which state? It's Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh is not the right answer. So, no points to you, but the t question is now open to teams on the buzzer. Please press your buzzers now. Team from Jharkhand has pressed their buzzer. What is your answer? Delhi. Delhi is the right answer. 10 points to the team from Jharkhand. Between 1956 and 1993, Delhi was a union territory and not a state. So, 10 points to Jharkhand for that fantastic answer. And they also get the next question. What was used for the first time in India during the 1982 by-elections of the North Parabur Assembly constituency in Kerala for a limited number of polling stations? This is EVM, Electronic Voting Machine. Electronic Voting Machines or EVM, that's the right answer. 10 points again to Jharkhand. You're on a roll. Next question to Odisha. In 2014, this man was appointed Brand Ambassador by the Himachal Pradesh State Election Commission ahead of Lok Sabha polls. He has voted 16 times in the Lok Sabha polls and 12 times in assembly elections. As an election commission report has stated, Who is this man and what is his claim to fame? Name him and tell me why is he so famous? He is the brand ambassador of the Himachal Pradesh State Election Commission in 2014. Okay, Odisha has not provided me with an answer, so it's now open on the buzzer. Please press your buzzers now. The team from Jharkhand once again has pressed their buzzer before. He is Syam Saran Negi. He is considered to be the first voter in the Indian elections after independence. 10 points for the very complete answer. This is Syam Saran Negi, independent India's first voter. Swatantra Bharat ke pehle matadata. So 10 points to the team from Jharkhand. Very well answered. Team from Sikkim. To account for the large number of illiterate voters, what interesting experiment which continues till today was started in elections after the Government of India Act was passed in 1919? Till today you can see this in elections. It was basically as a way to help illiterate voters also participate in the election process. They were accompanied by someone. No, that is not the right answer. It's now open on the buzzer to all teams. Please press your buzzers now. Jharkhand's gone for it again. They're very quick on the buzzer, the team from Jharkhand. What is the answer? This is election symbols that is given to the uh, parties or the candidates uh, so that uh, it can be Ten used. points to the team from Jharkhand. This is the reason why political parties or candidates are given symbols so that it helps illiterate voters identify the party or the person that they want to vote for. 10 points, excellently done on the buzzer. And the next question is to the team from West Bengal. Aap jo picture dekhenge, this person was the 10th Chief Election Commissioner. 
he reformed elections by ending problems and malpractices in india he used to always say show me one instance where i've done anything that is not stated in the constitution about the powers of the election commission and i will quit he had made very strong statements like this i want his name you'll see his photograph on the slide he was a chief election commissioner the 10th in fact tn tn session tn session is the right answer very well done team west bengal 10 points this is the 10th chief election commissioner of india tn session we now move to the team from assam the constitution 108th amendment bill of 2008 which passed in the rajya sabha in 2010 was never voted on in the lok sabha and because of that it lapsed in 2014 what major change in parliament did this bill want to make the constitution 108 amendment bill of 2008 they wanted to make a major change in parliament what was that change it wanted to increase the uh, representation of women in the parliament to what percent 1/3 1/3 or 33% reservation for women in the lok sabha and state assemblies is correct 10 points this is 33% arakshan for mahilaye so 10 points to the team from assam and the next question is to bihar initially formed on 22nd june 1939 by netaji subhash chandra bose as a left wing part of the indian national congress This became its own party the next year with Subhash Chandra Bose as its first president. Which party which is part of several left wing governments in West Bengal in the past is this? So this party was formed by Netaji Bose and he was also its first president. Which party is this? Forward Bloc. All India Forward Bloc is correct. 10 points to the team from Bihar. Very well answered. This is the All India Forward Bloc. We will now go to see what the scores are like. This has been a very high scoring round I see. The team from Jharkhand leading with 40 because of some excellent buzzer work. The team from Assam on 20, Bihar and West Bengal on 10 and Odisha and Sikkim who will quickly open up their scores coming up very soon. It's time for a short break but before that here's a question for our viewers. Which of the following is mandatory for voting at a polling station during an election? A is it having an epic? B having your name on the electoral roll or the voters list of that polling station? C having a passport or a bank passbook? Or is it D having a ration card? SMS your answers to the number displayed on your screen. For example, if your answer is option A, SMS NEQ5 space a or if your answer is option b sms n e q 5 space b the first 50 correct answers will win exciting prizes from the election commission of india to know about the winners of our episode 1 audience question please visit the election commission of india website and facebook page shown on your screens congratulations to all the winners Welcome back from the break. Here's a quick word from the Election Commission of India. If you're 18 years of age as on 1st January 2018, get yourself registered as a voter by filling form 6 online at www.nvsp.in. Let's get right back to testing out our teams. The next question is to the team from Jharkhand. What is the redrawing of the boundaries of constituencies to make sure that there are as much as practical the same number of people in each constituency known as What is the redrawing of the boundaries of constituencies known as delimitation Delimitation of constituencies is correct 10 points to the team from Jharkhand This is Nirvachan Kshetra ka Parisiman 10 points to the team from Jharkhand very well done Team from Odisha, your question. Elected from the Sohagpur constituency in Madhya Pradesh state's Shadol Anuppur district, who became the first transgendered person to be elected the member of an Indian state legislature in 1998? I need the name 
of the person who became the first transgender person to become a member of an Indian state legislature. This happened in Madhya Pradesh. Team from Odisha doesn't seem to have it. The question is now open on the buzzer to other teams. Please press your buzzers now. Nobody seems to be going for it. This is Shabnam Mossi. A name was Shabnam Mossi. So, we will now move to the team from Sikkim. 12 members of the Rajya Sabha are nominated by the President because they are excellent in art, literature, science, social sciences. However, they are not permitted one important function which other members of the Rajya Sabha may perform. What is this function? 12 nominated members may not do one important function of the Rajya Sabha which other members may do. What is that function? No Team Sikkim. Question is now open on the buzzer. Press your buzzers now. The team from Assam has pressed the buzzer. Can I get an answer please? Uh, they cannot vote in the presidential elections. They cannot vote in presidential elections is correct. That is a privilege denied to the nominated members of the Rajya Sabha. 10 points to the team from Assam. Very well done. And the next question is to the team from West Bengal. Upon the death of the incumbent MP Gopinath Munde in 2014, his daughter Pritam Munde contested the by-election for his Lok Sabha seat from the Bede constituency in Maharashtra. She set what new Indian electoral record in doing so? She set an electoral record in doing so. Why is Pritam Munde in the Indian electoral records? Sir, Nota? Nota introduced You're saying Unone introduced kiya tha Nota? Nahi, that is not the right answer. Teams, question open on the buzzer now. The team from Jharkhand has pressed the buzzer. Can we hear what your answer is? She won the Lok Sabha, any Lok Sabha seat with a maximum margin. She had the biggest margin of victory in the Lok Sabha elections is correct. Preetam Munde is in the record books for this. 10 points to the team from Jharkhand. We now go to a question to the team from Assam. Connect all of these. Doorbell, electric pole, diesel pump, diamond, envelope, flute, frock, funnel, gas cylinder, frying pan, dish antenna, and vacuum cleaner. You have to connect all of them and tell me what they are. What are all of these? As a group, what are they? In the context, obviously, of a national election quiz. Okay, these are the uh, minimum uh, minimum uh, assured facilities to the. These are the minimum assured facilities to voters. No, that is not the right answer. Teams on the buzzers now. <laughs> Team from Jharkhand. These are free symbols that can be given to any independent or any uh, not so popular parties. Not these are a list party. of free symbols given out by the Election Commission of India to any other, to any parties is correct. 10 points to the team from Jharkhand. Well done on the buzzer. Next question is to team from Bihar. He served in this post for over 17 years. Who is India's longest serving minister for external affairs? India's longest serving foreign minister. 17 years. Who is this? Gulzari Lal Nanda. Gulzari Lal Nanda is not the right answer. Teams on the buzzers now. The team from Jharkhand may answer. This is Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru is correct. He was the longest serving external affairs minister of India from 1946 to 1964. Teams were narrowly missing out on the buzzer. Please remember, other teams would have pressed it one microsecond just before you. So. You literally have to be quick on the draw. Well done, Jharkhand on the buzzer. 10 points to you for that question. And the next question is also directly to you. As of 2014, 
which was the smallest Lok Sabha constituency by number of voters, with approximately 50,000 registered voters. It's Lakshadweep. Lakshadweep is the right answer. 10 points to the team from Jharkhand. Jharkhand's on a roll. Lakshadweep, the right answer. 10 points. Let's move to the team from Odisha. In 2005, the Election Commission of India decided to add additional features to the new EVM model, including things like a real-time clock, time stamping of each vote, battery status display, power save mode, and one special feature to allow voting, facilitate voting by visually impaired people. What feature was added to the new model of the EVM? VVPAT. Say it again. VVPAT. VVPAT is not the right answer. Let's move to the buzzers now. <laughs> Team from Assam. Uh, they were allowed to vote by, uh, they could uh, know what candidate they are voting for using Braille. Braille feature is correct. Braille signage on the EVM. 10 points to the team from Assam. Well done. Let's now move and check out the scores. Team from Jharkhand doing really well at 90 right now. Team from Assam answering well and hopefully will catch up on 40. Bihar and West Bengal both on 10 and Odisha and Sikkim yet to open their score. We'll continue and we now have a question for the team from Sikkim. Which party contested the first general elections in 1951-52 in independent India under the following symbol? You'll see the symbol. Which party symbol was this in the first general elections in 1951-52? I need the name of a political party. No, the question is now open on the buzzer now. Team from Jharkhand. India. Congress. This is the Indian National Congress, 10 points. This was the Congress symbol in 1951-52. 10 points to the team from Jharkhand. Well done on the buzzer. The team from Assam is getting a little excited, but don't worry, you'll be able to hit the buzzer next time. Question to the team from West Bengal. Goa's assembly elections in 2017 was the first state to completely feature this. These were also introduced on a trial level in eight constituencies in 2014 general elections. What am I talking about? In 2017, Goa's assembly elections completely featured this. And in the general elections of 2014, they used it as a trial in okay. eight constituencies. What? Sir, <laughs> EVM Use. 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 No, that is not the right answer. Use. 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 The head of the government of Austria and also of Germany is not called a Prime Minister or a President. They have another designation. What is this designation? Uh, Chancellor. Chancellor, just like the current Chancellor of Germany, Angela Merkel. 10 points to the team from Assam. Well answered. We now move to the team from Bihar. A 2014 amendment to the Code Conduct of Election Rules, 1961, saw a revision in maximum election expenditure to 70 lakh rupees in all states, except for three states. Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim were two of those states. Which was the third state? Jammu Kashmir. Jammu Kashmir is not the right answer. Open on the buzzers now. The team from Assam has pressed their buzzer. What is the answer? Goa. Goa is the right answer. That's 10 points to the team from Assam. We will now go to the scores and take a look at where they are now. We have Jharkhand who have crossed the 100 mark. The first time ever so far in the semi-finals that any team has crossed 100 on 110. Assam on 60, Bihar and West Bengal on 10 and Odisha and Sikkim yet to open their score. 
since Jharkhand's doing such a great job on the buzzer, let's remember the next round is a purely buzzer round that's open to all the teams. Just remember the rule. You press the buzzer only after I say the word, press the buzzers now. When you hear the word now, you can press the buzzer. There is a penalty of minus five if you press the buzzer before that. And I will be very strict about the penalty, unfortunately. Okay, so these buzzer rounds questions are open to all teams. So if you're ready with your fingers on the buzzer, question number one. There are two ways a service voter can vote in elections, either through postal ballot or through what other method. Press your buzzers now. Team from Assam has pressed their buzzer. What is your answer? Proxy voting. Proxy voting, voting through proxy, 10 points to the team from Assam. Just remember, if you get all five correct and you buzz on time, you can still catch up with the team and tie them for the first place. Let's move on to question two. Identify the form of registration you fill as an overseas elector. Pre I'm sorry, Team Sikkim, you pressed the buzzer before I said that. So I will unfortunately have to give you minus five. Please remember, press the buzzer only after I tell you. I'll repeat the question. Identify the form of registration as an overseas elector. Press your buzzers now. The team from Bihar has pressed the buzzer. 6A. Form 6A gives you 10 points. Congratulations, Team Bihar. Third question. What is the maximum allowed duration between the last session of a dissolved Lok Sabha and the recalling of a new Lok Sabha? Press your buzzers. Now, team from Bihar Chema. again. Six months. Six, six months, six months, right answer. 10 points to the team from Bihar. Slowly catching up to the buzzer game. Let's move on to the next question. There is only one community in India that has its own representatives nominated to the Lok Sabha. Which community is this? Charkhand has unfortunately pressed the buzzer before I finish the question. They get a minus five. And question is now open to the teams. Name the only community in India that has its representatives nominated to the Lok Sabha. Teams, press your buzzers now. The team from Bihar, what is your answer? Anglo-Indian. Anglo-Indians is correct. They get two nominated members in the Lok Sabha. 10 points to the team from Bihar. And let's see the final question. Public media like Doordarshan and All India Radio are allowed to air campaign advertisements for free to all state parties and national parties. Is this true or false? Team from Odisha, press the buzzer before I said press your buzzer. Now, everybody's excited on the last question. That gives you a minus five, I'm sorry. Other teams, you may press your buzzers now. Team from Bihar. No, it's false. They say it's false. Unfortunately, it's true. Yes, So minus five to the team from Bihar on the very last question. But well done on the buzzer this round. Let's take a look at the scores. We have the team from Sikkim and Odisha both tied at minus five due to some unfortunate buzzer work at the end. West Bengal on 10, Bihar on 35. Assam tried to catch up but played a good game at 70. But winning this national semi-final and going on to represent the East Zone at the National Election Quiz 2018 Grand Finale is the team from Jharkhand at 105 points. They're also the only team so far who have actually crossed 100 points in the quiz. So that's excellent work, guys. Congratulations to all the other teams also. You've got here after defeating almost 13 and a half lakh students. So that's a great job in itself. Congratulations for being part of the National Elections Quiz. The National Elections Quiz has been conceived with the aim to reach out to the future voters, familiarize them with the electoral process, which is the very foundation of a strong democracy like India. Till the next semi-final, where we will have teams representing the North Zone, I'm Vikram Joshi signing off from NEQ 2018. And remember, every vote counts.